What's up, I'm Troubleshoot. If you're trying to play Ark Raiders and instead of getting in game, you're seeing something like this. Cheat software detected. If it happens again, you'll get banned. Auto hotkey or maybe something else like that. In this video, I'll show you the simplest way to fix it. Obviously, if you know what these programs are, you can just close them and be done. However, with Battlefield at least, it has the same issue. Auto hotkey is not allowed, but there it doesn't tell you what exactly is causing the issue. It just tells you, you got cheat software, go away. Well, for that exact reason, I created a super simple script that you just type it once, hit enter, and things should be done. Whatever program is running in the background that's causing an issue should be closed. It basically looks for any auto hotkey or auto hotkey like program and just closes it, of course, with your permission. Hit start, type in PowerShell, and open up PowerShell as administrator. Then inside of this new window that pops up, type in IEX space inside of brackets IRM ahk.tc.ht. You'll find this down below so you can copy and paste. When you hit enter, it'll connect to my open source project, which you'll also find linked down below, and it'll tell you it's about to scan your PC for auto hotkey running processes. Just hit Y and it'll scan through all of the running programs and it'll tell you exactly what is most likely causing an issue. Right now it's auto hotkey. It's the program I use to center things nicely. All I need to do is hit zero to kill all auto hotkey processes. And after I hit enter, just like that, everything should be closed and the game should launch happily, which it does. While it may seem super simple to just close auto hotkey, things like the LibreWolf browser updater, etc., which may come bundled with legitimate software, could include auto hotkey or auto hotkey like programs that cause issues and stop you launching the game. This little one line script is super efficient at finding exactly what's going on. And of course, if it helps you, do let me know down below. If it didn't, and there's a certain program that is causing an issue, let me know as well, and I'll happily add it to this project so other people can get some help as well. But yeah, that's basically that. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.